What do you have to feel guilty about? I think just not being able to protect my son. And tell me about that. Um, when your parent, your one job in life is to protect your child. And I just didn't do that. I, because I didn't save him. I didn't, I wasn't able to. Just. How did you not protect your son? I should have had my life together. It was just, I was homeless and I was staying with Brittany's mom and Brittany was there and we were sleeping on the couch. I told him to go put him in the room and someone went out the back door and when they came in, they didn't shut it. And he woke up and walked right outside. He woke up and what? He walked right outside and he drowned. <laughs> and I had to pull him out the pool. I didn't trust CPR, but I couldn't save him. I just, <laughs> it was the best thing that had ever happened to me. Just the best thing that ever happened in my life. And I did not do what I was supposed to do. I had one job and I didn't do it. I knew he was an angel. I should have been able to do something. I should have been able to save him. Tori, I am so sorry for your loss. There's nothing nobody can say, because it was my fault. I was his mom. And that's the guilt that you're carrying with you. <laughs> What's it going to take to forgive yourself? What is it going to take? I don't think there's anything. I don't know how to even begin to. I don't know. I know you can't hear this. I'm telling you, just like I want, I want him to feel that hero that his daughter feels, I want you to know what I see is someone that deserves forgiveness. I see it. And so until you can feel that way, know that there are people out there that look at you and want nothing more than for you to be able to forgive yourself. Terrible things happen to really good people that deserve happiness, that deserve most of all, more than anything else, forgiveness. We all deserve it. We all deserve it. Thank you for sharing that. I know that's a very hard thing. And I'm so glad you're here in this house because you're gonna make something of yourself again here in this house. I have to believe that. You know, it is safe to say that I have never healed from it because I've never really talked about it. But to have people who are going through some of the same struggles and having Bob there to listen to us actually felt good.